when I came back to my tent now, I had this giant spider run by. It totally freaked me out. Hey, what's up you guys? Jason here again and welcome to another camping video. So the last three weeks I've been awfully quiet. I do apologize, but let me explain why. When I got back from my last camping trip, I picked up a horrible flu and I was manned down for a few days. Uh, lots of bed rest, lots of liquids, lots of medication, and I eventually uh, dealt with that sucker. <laughs> But um, I did put myself into a two-week quarantine as well, just as a precaution, and I'm happy to report that today I'm back to my old self, I'm healthy, I'm normal, and I'm quite excited to get back out there. Uh, that said, I'm going to be heading north up the west coast. I'll be driving along the R27. Uh, Distance-wise, it's about 157 k's. I'm heading to the town of Feltdrift. Uh, just outside town, there's a small farm called Puphook. Uh, I don't know much about the place, but I have had a quick look at the website, and what I have seen, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, Weather-wise, um, nothing to really worry about. It's a nice warm day. This evening, it's going to be very comfortable. I think it's going to be a bit of wind tonight uh, and then Friday morning they are talking about a shower or two but uh, regardless I'm quite happy to be getting back out there. Anyway, uh, plan now is to hit the road, get there safely and I will catch up with you again on the other side. Okay, I've just arrived. Uh, drive here was completely incident free and after being at home for three weeks I have to admit it was quite nice just to uh, cruise along. But uh, other than the odd crosswind and the odd speed check, uh, absolutely nothing to report at all. Anyway, arrived at the destination, very lovely lady who met me at reception. Um, I'm actually along the banks of the river, you can just see that out behind me. Uh, they've got me up on the top section, site number seven, just off to my left. I've got my own private little bathroom and shower, which I've already looked at, nice and neat and tidy. Actually, um, pretty nice, snazzy little spot. Just here behind the camera, I've got a big uh, netting, so I've definitely got shade and shelter. There's also a big net on the ground as well, so protection for the tent. and. Uh, what I do notice, all the sites are pretty much right next to each other. Also further off to my left, I've got quite a few um, cottages. And uh, by the looks of things, they look quite nice. And I think they can accommodate um, a relatively um, sizable group. But other than that, time is now 3.30. It's still a bit bright, sun's still quite high. Um, so I'm not going to set up the tent just yet. I think I'm just going to have a walk around and see what more this place has to offer. Alright, so I had a little bit of a walk about uh, down by the river's edge. There's uh, allocated or designated fishing spots with little jetties. I'm not sure what river this is, but uh, there's quite a lot of bird life. Uh, just in my few minutes down there, I saw some kingfishers, some wagtails, uh, gulls, cormorants, and a few other species I don't know. But uh, it's clear that summer is here. Most of the flowers have all died off. Uh, the few flowers that are still out are very dry and dreary and definitely not worth taking a photo. But a uh, very nice little spot, this little gazebo down at the bottom as well. Um, bry areas, there's a play park for the kids as well. And the one thing that I did pick up, uh, there's lots of these little devil thorns. Plenty of these thorns. So if you are coming through with kids, uh, just bear in mind shoes, don't run barefoot. But um, a lot of wind coming through as well and uh, 
the mountains just off behind the camera, I see that there's a huge wind farm. So that's obviously a testament of the wind that blows. And I would imagine uh, probably every afternoon until hopefully sunset when it dies down. But um, yeah, thus far I'm quite impressed. I think what I'm going to do now is just sit back, relax, and uh, just enjoy the fact that I'm here. <clears throat> it's now 25 past 4, 20 past 4, and uh, I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I'm just going to do some salami and cheese on a uh, wrap. <clears throat> nice and easy. Nice and simple. With this wind that's blowing as well, I don't know if I'm going to be making a fire tonight. Uh, I'll see how it goes. Um, either way, for dinner I'm just going to do some noodles, some Asian noodles. So, it's not like I really need a fire to cook food. I've got my gas stove as well. But um, I wouldn't mind making a fire and cooking my noodles on the, on the coals in my titanium pot. I wouldn't mind doing that. But, like I say, let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Alright. There we go. Fresh salami, cheese wedges, what more can you ask for?
Right, so as you can see, camp is set up. Uh, tonight I'm doing the two-man Helio from First Ascent. I'm sleeping on my Neo Air Venture from Thermarest, and I'm using the Explorer sleeping bag, the down sleeping bag from First Ascent with a uh, temperature rating of positive five. Uh, tonight I'm expecting a high, or rather a low, of positive 14. So if anything, I'm gonna get quite warm and I'll probably unzip the bag and just use it as a quilt. Um, but uh, I haven't bothered to put the fly on. I do have a big heavy netting above me anyway, so I'm not worried about dew. And at least this way I've got a nice breeze coming through the tent and tomorrow morning I don't have to worry about condensation. Uh, but worst case scenario, I'll just put it on anyway. But um, lovely view out in front of me looking across the river. It's turning out to be a beautiful afternoon. Wind is still blowing, but where I am now, I'm completely and utterly sheltered. Uh, the wind is coming through from behind and over the top. So even if I don't make a fire tonight, um, I can cook right outside the tent anyway. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, oh, the ground is also hard. So uh, it's very stony. Um, I couldn't use a peg at all. So tent is just freestanding. But uh, again, I'm so sheltered. Uh, unless we have a tornado, there's no ways this tent will blow away. And besides, I mean, with my weight inside the tent, it's perfectly fine. But anyway, um, time is now uh, 25 to 6, and it's still very light. The sun is still quite high. Uh, so I'm probably just going to lie here and catch a bit of a snooze. And then hopefully later today we have a nice little sunset that happens. Uh, that would be a bonus. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna have a snooze. Just a little bit of pink out in the sky. Time is now five to eight. And uh, I was hoping for a little bit better than this, but still, beautiful evening. Wind is still blowing. Birds are still chirping, but uh, soon, soon it will be dark. So for dinner tonight, um, just going to do some noodles. Uh, probably just do one packet. Cheers. Alright, there we go. Supper is done. I ended up doing both packets anyway. <clears throat> I quite like these uh, two minute noodles. <clears throat> Much better than the Maggie noodles. Visitor. Anyway, ah, it's looking pretty cool. Very nice. Anyway, I'm going to finish up my supper and I will get back with you guys again afterwards. Alright, dinner is done. 
and uh, that was actually really nice. Wind has died down completely, it's not a breath of wind, it's a perfect evening. Uh, stars are out and uh, it's absolutely stunning. The only downside is there's a ton of mosquitoes, they're all around me. Uh, that's why I've got the beanie on, but um, I have learned my lesson in the past, so I've pretty much drenched, drenched myself in bug spray. Um, although I've got the tabot on, uh, they're still buzzing around my head. And uh, truth be told, it's actually driving me bonkers. But anyway, um, I do have another beer, so I think that's the plan. I'm going to switch off these lights, and uh, I'm just going to take a walk in the dark. Um, suck down my brew, look at the stars, and again, just appreciate the fact that I'm healthy and that I'm out here. I'll catch up with you guys again on the other side. Right, it's just on 10 o'clock, um, got my sleep gear on, brushed my teeth, everything's packed away. Um, I did end up putting the fly on anyway because the wind has died down completely and there's not a cloud in the sky, which means there's going to be some dew tonight. Um, I have left the door open though, um, well, just the bug net, so I've still got some air coming through. And um, when I came back to my tent now, I had this giant spider run by, it totally freaked me out. So of course I jumped straight into the tent, zipped everything up, and there's no way I'm going out tonight. Um, quite a big brown monster out there. I have no clue what it was. Um, I do suffer from arachnophobia, so I'm pretty freaked out, but at least I know uh, it can't get into this tent. Well, we hope so, at least. But anyway, good first day. Great to be back out again. and. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is probably just watch a YouTube video or two and then slowly fade away. And then I will see you guys again in the morning. Cheers, guys. Good night. Morning, guys. <clears throat> Didn't sleep too bad, but uh, if anything, I was quite paranoid about that big spider that I saw last night. Um, I went on to Google and I found out it's called a Red Roman. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen for you to see. Uh, but technically it's not a spider, uh, but even so, looks pretty horrible and uh, definitely freaked me out. Alright, let me quickly stop it there and better explain to you what happened so that you can appreciate what I went through. Uh, I had just finished dinner, washed the dishes, packed everything away, I went through to the bathroom, changed into my sleep gear, brushed my teeth, etc. and I'm walking back to the tent. I'm wearing a pair of flip-flops, uh, so I've got bare feet, uh, I've got a pair of shorts, so bare legs, and as I'm walking I'm wearing my head torch. I'm looking down at the ground and of course I'm casting a shadow. Next thing the spider appears in front of me and I'm not exaggerating when I say it was the size of my hand. The body was about that long. The abdomen, I kid you not, was thicker than my thumb. It was really that big. Anyway, these red romans are known to chase their prey. They chase shadows as well. Uh, so because I'm casting a shadow, as I'm backtracking this thing is running after me and uh, at some point, I kid you not, it actually jumped at my legs. Needless to say, I managed to get away. I got safely into the tent and of course it was a very restless night. Uh, I think what disturbs me most now is knowing um, while I was sitting on the ground making dinner, this thing was lurking somewhere behind me and uh, I can't imagine what might have happened if it had actually climbed onto me. Uh, thankfully it didn't, it could have been a lot worse. I also believe that these things occur as far north as Namibia, maybe even Angola, so they're very widespread. Uh, they do hunt prey such as mice and birds, uh, very aggressive hunters, uh, non-venomous, they've got huge mandibles, big fangs, and of course the bite can be super painful. Uh, not something that I would like to experience again, 
Uh, but this is the thing about camping. At some point, you are going to encounter all sorts of weird and wonderful creatures. But anyway, it could have been a lot worse. But for me, it was pretty traumatic as is. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Anyway, time is now 20 past 7. Very overcast this morning. Clouds everywhere. I would imagine it must have been quite a nice sunrise as well. But um, very peaceful. Just a slight breeze blowing. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is just grab a cup of coffee. Um, as always, it's a date with Jacobs. And then uh, I'll be doing oats as well. But I do want to pack up and get out of here before the rain comes because that way it looks pretty black and the clouds are quite heavy. So I don't want to stick around and wait for the rain. Anyway, coffee time. It's actually already starting to drip. Um, small little droplets coming down. It's pretty cool actually. Very peaceful. <coughs> so for breakfast today, we are doing apple cinnamon. In my last video, um, when I came down from the mountain, when I did my cowboy camp, uh, thankfully I didn't have to eat another one of those chocolate flavored oats. Um, if I did, I think that would have been enough to have put me off oats forever. Um, by far my least favorite. Uh, if you haven't yet seen that video, I'll link it um, at the end of this video. But um, that chocolate oats was just absolutely horrid. And uh, yeah, I don't like it at all. But um, to sort of recover, I'm going to do my favorite today. At least the drizzle has stopped. Uh, seems to come and go. So it's a nice blue sky out that side, but still very thick, dark and heavy out that side to the south.
I beg your pardon to the west. Much better. Anyway, <clears throat> here comes the drizzle again, so I'm going to quickly finish breakfast and put the camera away. All right, there we go, all packed up and ready to head home just in time. I see the camera battery flashing, so it's about to die. But uh, clip hook, pretty awesome spot. I will leave their details in the description down below if you want to check them out. 
and like I said last night awesome to be back out again but uh, I am looking forward to editing this video and uh, if all goes well I should have it up by next week Monday or Tuesday at the latest but I will post on the different platforms to let you know uh, other than that thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please support the channel by smashing that like button also don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you again in the next one until then take it easy cheers and bye